Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe to my channel, like this video and press the bell icon. Tailwind CSS is the most popular utility framework, loved by most developers. Unlike traditional CSS frameworks that provide pre-designed components, Tailwind CSS takes a different approach by offering a utility-first methodology. This means instead of relying on pre-built components, Tailwind CSS provides a set of utility classes that you can apply directly to your HTML elements to style them precisely as needed. With Tailwind CSS, you have complete control over your design without the need to write custom CSS. Whether you're building a simple landing page or a complex web application, Tailwind CSS empowers you to create beautiful and responsive designs efficiently. In this video, you will learn how to install and set up Tailwind CSS in an Angular 17 application. First we will install Angular 17 and after that we will install Tailwind CSS. Let's get started. Go to the directory where you want to install Angular 17 app. Click here and type cmd to open command prompt. Now, type the command ng new, your project name and press enter. Use the arrow key to select stylesheet format, CSS is already selected so press enter. Now for server side rendering, type n and press enter. It will take some time to download, depending on your internet connection, so please wait for the download to complete. The download has been completed. Now, type cd your project name to navigate to the project directory. Open your project in Visual Studio Code. Open package.json file. Here you can see the installed Angular version is 17.3.0, which is the latest version. Open a new terminal. Click here and select command prompt to open command prompt. Now type the command ng serve to run our app. Go to your browser and type localhost colon 4200 and you will see new Angular 17 page with new logo. Now, let's install Tailwind CSS. In Google, type Tailwind CSS and press enter. Click on this link. Click on Framework Guides. Now click on Angular. Here instructions are given to set up Tailwind CSS in Angular project. Now, we will install Tailwind CSS. Copy this code. Click here and select Command Prompt to open a new command prompt. Paste the code which you have copied. It will take some time to download, depending on your internet connection, so please wait for the download to complete. The download is complete.
Now we need to run the init command to generate a tailwind.config.js file. Copy this command. Paste the copied command in your terminal. You can see tailwind.config.js file is generated. Open it. Now we need to add the paths to all of the template files in tailwind.config.js file. Copy this highlighted code. Replace this line with the copied code. Now, we need to add the tailwind directives to styles.css file. Click here to copy. Open styles.css file and paste the tailwind directives in the file. Now we need to run build process which is already running. So, we will add this code in app.component.html file. Copy this code. Open app.component.html file. Remove this code and paste the Tailwind CSS code which you have copied. Let's add text green 500 to this h1 tag. Now go to your browser. The Tailwind CSS utility classes have not been applied, so we will restart our server. Open the terminal in which the server is running. Press Ctrl plus C to stop the server and type ng serve to restart the server. Now, go to your browser and you will see that Tailwind CSS classes have been applied. We have successfully installed and set up Tailwind CSS in our Angular 17 app. Let's create navbar, content, and footer components and add Tailwind CSS blocks to these components. Go back to Visual Studio Code. First we will create navbar component. In your terminal, type the command ng, g, c, navbar and press enter to generate navbar component. Here g is for generate, c is for component and navbar is the component name. The navbar component is created. Now type the command ng, g, c, content and press enter to generate content component. Here G is for generate, C is for component and content is the component name. The content component is created. Now type the command ng, g, c, footer and press enter to generate footer component. Here G is for generate, C is for component and footer is the component name. The footer component is created. Here you can see that all the components are created inside separate folders. Now we will add all these components in the app.component.html file. Remove this code. First add app navbar selector. Then add app content selector. Now add app footer selector. Open app.component.ts file and add navbar component, content component and footer component in the imports array and import them. You can see now the error is resolved. Go to your browser and you will see navbar, content and footer components. Let's add tailwind blocks in all these components. Open tailblocks.cc website.
Search for header. Select first block. Click on view code. Click on copy the clipboard to copy the code. Open navbar.component.html file and paste the copied code. Open content.component.html file. Select this block. Click on view code. Click on copy the clipboard to copy the code. Paste the copied code in content.component.html file. Now search for footer. Select the first block. Click on view code. Click on copy the clipboard to copy the code. Open footer.component.html file and paste the code which you have copied. Go to your browser. There is an error, we need to replace it with HTML entity and hash 64 semicolon in footer.component.html file. Copy this HTML entity. Now find its symbol. Replace it with the HTML entity which you have copied. Save the file and go to your browser and you will see navbar, content and footer component with the tailwind blocks. In this video, we learned how to install and set up Tailwind CSS in our Angular 17 app. We also learned how to create navbar, content, and footer components and add Tailwind CSS blocks to these components. Thanks for watching. Please like and share this video and subscribe to my channel. I will see you in next tutorial, till then stay safe.